Hi there, Lauren here, product manager for our Bloats accounting team. I'm here to do a quick demo on our latest feature, our CSV filter. We built this feature to enable any customers who are not directly integrated with Netsy, QBO, or Xero uh, to enable them with custom uh, CSV exports. So here under, sorry, under settings and CSV export, you can create one or multiple templates uh, that you can customize in order to export transactions in the accounting hub. We can edit templates or delete templates here or click create a new template to create a new one. I'm going to create a quick example. You can choose the accounting system if you want. That's optional um, so that we know where it's going. And another optional uh, choice, but highly recommended, is to upload a template to start with. So you're not starting from scratch, but you can start from scratch by clicking that field. I'm going to click one here. You have to upload a CSV, and all the columns in this CSV will show up here in the template. On the left, you'll see all of the float fields, available fields here. And on the right, you'll see all the columns that are going to be exported in your CSV. Um, you'll notice these ones say custom because they're blank in the CSV right now, um, but I can change them to any float field, which are organized by category. So uh, under the payment category, you'll see things like transaction ID, amount, subtotal, tax. Under spender category, you'll see their name or email. Uh, GL code, you'll get name, ID, accounting code, etc. I think you get the gist. Um, there are two custom examples. I hope that my face isn't blocking this one. Maybe we'll scroll up. <laughs> uh, there are two custom types of fields. You can add a custom field and um, leave it blank like this. That means you'll get a blank column. Or I can enter a value here. So I can say like um, zero or 342. Um, and then everything in that column will be 342. So I can change um, what field goes into the IZ partner code by clicking maybe, uh, let's actually click a code here, a co category code, great example. Um, and I can also delete this field here by clicking the trash can. I can insert a column in between these two columns by clicking insert column like this, or I can add multiple columns up here at the same time um, by clicking the add columns button and then selecting multiple fields. I can also search for categories and search for fields. So if I don't know where it is, I can search for amount. And then once I've chosen all the ones I want, hit done, you'll see them at the bottom of uh, the template. I can also, Preview the template down here. And you'll see some mock data to get an idea of what your template looks like right here. And then I can save my template. Now, in order to export using this template, you can go to transaction export. And then what I'll want to do is make sure that at least there are some transactions in ready to export. So I'll just move some over real quick. Sorry, I lost my spot. I'll confirm those as ready. And then under ready to export, I can select the ones I want to export, hit export CSV, and when I go to choose, now I'll see all the different templates that I can use to export these transactions. And that's our latest CSV filter.